Um, I don't know how much I pulled, but I think I pulled a lot. Because uh, a lot of people keep asking me about how much I pulled today. Um, but I feel like uh, when I pulled, you know, uh, it was able to open a lot of holes. Um, you know, uh, running backs able to make some really good reads off of it. Uh, I feel like that's one thing they weren't really expecting. Uh, and um, I feel like that was really an advantage for us, having me on the perimeter a little bit. In the middle there, Chris? Go ahead, Steve. No, okay. What was the feeling that you had as, as, as you were able to move the ball the way you guys did it? Um, it felt good, you know, as far as I will. And speak, piggybacking on the other question, I'm glad I didn't have to pull. So Caesar did my job for me. So that was a good feeling. You guys have a pulling center. So. Yeah. Chris? There's some elements of last year's offense that you guys are mixing in in that respect. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's good. We bring back some stuff that worked last year, you know, watching previous games and, you know, it's important to bring that back and do what worked you know, instead of trying everything else. Given the elements, were you guys pretty excited knowing that this was going to be on your back going into this one? Yeah. Uh, we said in the locker room uh, we knew what kind of game it was going to be. We uh, changed the openers a little bit. Um, we knew we were going to be grounding down a lot today. And, uh, you know, it's the game we're waiting for. You know, we love running the ball. And, um, you know, just we knew today was going to be the day we were able to showcase it. Go on, Chris. All right. Um, just talk a little bit about uh, the start and uh, knowing you know that you had to run the ball. Just talk about the way your backs played and, and the holes. Did you see things on film, I guess, from Notre Dame that you expected to run the ball like this on these guys? Um, actually, on film, I mean, we, we expected to run the ball a lot, but I mean, a lot of holes were open more more so than we thought. You know, and the backers were shifting and moving a lot with the uh, motions and whatnot. So we expected that, but. They was um, attacking the holes, you know, faster than we thought, so we adjusted. Yeah, me? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, Coach Harbaugh talked a lot about the growth that you guys have learned from the top ten tests that you've had this season. So, you know, how? Like, how do you think you guys have grown? How did that translate tonight from the losses at Wisconsin and Penn State? I mean, every loss is, you know, is a test for you to, you know, show that you improve. In the Penn State game, you know, we was down on a lot of um, details, so I think we ex executed tonight and brought a lot of the little details in. If I can ask another one, too, um, there was that stretch in the second quarter. You scored on two touchdown drives, 14 running plays. What's that like for two offensive linemen, knowing that you ran 14 times and scored on both of those drives? Um, it's a good feeling. You know, as long as they're in the end zone, that's all that matters. So, however many plays it takes. Right, Nick. Uh, Mike, the reporter, I guess. Do you feel like a day like this was kind of coming for you guys up front? You guys have been moving bodies for three, four weeks now. Do you feel like this was sort of on the way? Um, I think it was bound to happen, you know. It, there's been a lot of doubt, you know, within everybody, of, you know, since a lot of we've had. So it was only, you know, it was, it was bound to happen. Caesar, you feel the same? Yes, I knew. I knew it was coming sooner than that. Back right. Uh, there was some talk about finding the identity of this offense after the Wisconsin game, I guess, for both of you guys. After a performance like that, what is Michigan's offensive identity? I mean, our identity is whatever it is for that week. I mean, I don't, I don't want to say we're one thing or another because, I mean, we can attack you however we want to, so it's like that. Middle Ryan. And with this, these two teams not scheduled to meet in, until 2030, do you guys feel like you wrote a memorable chapter in this rivalry tonight? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, we're going to play the game for 14 years. I think that's what, is that what it is. I saw, that on, I saw it on Instagram this morning. So, uh, 14 years, yes. Feels good. We get to talk a little bit for 14 years. Daniel? Even walking from the sideline, what's it like seeing Dak make play after play as a true freshman? I mean, it's, it's amazing seeing Dak out there making plays as a true freshman. I mean, uh, he's... He's gifted, you know, his talent's a guy given. Um, you know, he flies around, you know, being on the sideline, we see him make a play. You, know, you get excited when you see a young guy make a play too. And, um, you know, it's good seeing him, uh, you know, showcase his abilities and uh, being able to contribute to be a factor for our team. Seeing him in practice all year, how would you describe his trajectory? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I mean, as you guys see, it's been, it's been going well every week. So I mean, you know, practice, you know, practice has been improving. So you know, he's been improving in the game. Is there maybe one or two things that really stand out to you? 
Is it just an overall? It's a, a, a athleticism, basically. I mean, you know, he's a long guy, so yeah, he's fast. See, can I ask, uh, Caesar, you, you guys have been through a lot and had some tough losses and guys gained some criticism. Yeah. Did, have you guys developed a little bit of an edge or a swagger or anything because of that? I mean, yeah. I mean, every year is always something different. Uh, everybody's going to say something about us. And we we cancel out the noise. We know what we can do. We know the truth. And um, we know when the opportunity is there, we're going to take advantage of it. And that's what we did today. Oh. Either one, uh, either one of you guys see, the, see Spinellis block the guy into the locker yeah. room? There. Yeah, we saw that. Oh. I'm good by him. I didn't see it until we got in the locker room. Yeah. He was uh, he was real happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Wilson tweeted out. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's there you go. Yeah, Charles was tweeted out, so you know, he feeling, he feeling a little happy so. right now. Yeah, he's feeling good. <laughs> did, did he remind you guys of the, the movie The Blind Side? Did you see that? Did you actually, did, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I actually never saw nothing like that before because I was, when the movie, he took him to the, he took him to the song. He took him to the other end zone. Yeah, he took him over. Dang. On the right, Rainer. No, no, when you guys are capable of going with when you have a complete game, is there any kind of frustration that it didn't come sooner that you didn't have this kind of game? I mean, it piggybacks on the on the, what I said earlier about the details. So you know, <coughs> it's, it's more so about maturing and you know, accepting the details and the little things, which you know, and turns out makes the big bigger things happen. So. On the left, Angelique, Caesar, Caesar. Last week, you said it was the best performance from the offensive line. Shea came in just now and said that you guys started hitting your stride in that Penn State that second half. What did you hit, and what are you, what's the carryover? Um. I mean, we were able to show people. I mean, we were able to still move people, still open holes, still pass protect, and it still goes for you know what everybody's saying. You know, offensive line that's offensive line that. Just we we can't start a lot of noise. I mean, and we just work harder and harder every week. And as you can see, I mean, it's showing. And um, you know, our past two games have been amazing. I mean, we've been playing great as offensive line. I mean, especially today. Um, and, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just really proud of us um, and everything that we're doing. And uh, we're not settling for anything. Um, tomorrow, I mean, tomorrow, we're all going to come in together at the old line and, uh, and watch some film together. And then Monday, we're going to watch film again. And then we're going to get ready to keep improving every single week and attack it every single week. Where were you when Hassan Haskins leaped over a guy? And I, I was looking at the corner of my eye, blocking somebody. <laughs> I was blocking the linebacker, and I looked, and I just saw him go in the air. And I was like, oh, man. I saw him play. One thing y'all don't know, I saw him play basketball before. He he got some bounce. You know, I, We had a dunk contest. He had win it. I saw him got bounce. And I've been waiting for him to jump over somebody, so I'm glad he did today. Let's just talk about his play and how he's just come along. Um, That play was big for us. I mean, like, you know, all, all throughout the year, he's been making big plays and, you know, busting hoes and whatnot, so. I mean, it's good to see a guy like that keep it improving, and you know, given what chances he gets, you know, he makes the best of all of them. On the right, Austin. Caesar, there was a point in the uh, in the third quarter there. Uh, you guys had the interception taken off the board, and, and they scored. Uh, do you recall what kind of the mindset was on the sideline at that time? Was there an emphasis on going out and answering that score? Yeah, it's the score. I mean, we it wasn't wasn't really a lot of pressure, but. <coughs> Is what it is. That's not a touchdown. That's why I scored. That's all it was. Are you guys got anything else for the offensive lineman or can I excuse them and let Cam answer a few? I got one more. You got one more? The, the, the play when they blocked your punt uh, but then you guys ended up with the ball. Was that a, was that a big momentum shift for you? First punt of the game. Would you go for a bit Oh, 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 when that's, that's when we got the first down. Yeah, that's yeah, when Jackson yeah. fell on it. Oh, he did something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't even remember. What was the question? I'm sorry. Kind of answered it, I guess. It was it? I mean, it was, uh, it was like, all right. Uh, I obviously don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. On that note, we'll have Cam <laughs> uh, Yeah, like for the team, it was, uh, especially for the defense, um, you know, like just, just having another opportunity not to be out there and have our offensive chance to, you know, score, it was, it was definitely great. Um, I think that really started our momentum uh, for the whole game. Yeah, you guys are good. Right. All right, See you. Steve.
kind of saw the disrespect, um, you know, like thinking that they could take the ball first, you know, like make something happen. So we had to, you know, uh, from the start, you know, show them that we're out here to play and that they can't get anything on us. Did you sense that they wanted to test you guys on the edges and, and maybe didn't, maybe underestimated your speed a little bit to the ball? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think they thought that we couldn't read our keys as well, uh, you know, just from the other teams we of us watching film, uh, you know, like not really able to get on the edge. But, uh, yeah, like they, they definitely uh, – didn't really believe in our speed, you know, to be able to get to the edges. What, what does that speed allow this defense to do? Uh, it allows everybody to be around the ball at all times. Uh, you know, like I'm pretty sure there's, there's multiple pictures of of five to eight guys around the ball, which is kind of unheard of. Um, you know, even D linemen, you know, getting down there on passes and you know, like trying to get the ball out. So it's definitely a, a big thing for us as a defense. You know, to increase turnovers and, and just be around the ball. Josh Metellus said that he knew that this performance was coming against Notre Dame. Is, is that speed a big part of the reason why? Uh, yeah, I believe it is, but I also think in our preparation and just like us as a team, you know, like we've been preaching play by play, and I think that we definitely, you know, play play by play tonight. You ever played in a weather game like that before? Uh, no, I haven't, and it was a great atmosphere, you know. Uh, just, you know, like as a defense, I don't care what the weather is, you know, it's always the offense who has to worry about it. So it was definitely, uh, you know, good for us to have that weather as a defense and, and try to get in their heads a little bit. You know, they're dropping balls, they're, you know, like not really going to the ball, so we can really get in their heads. The, the defense took some hits early on against Penn, uh, Penn State and even Wisconsin. What have you guys adjusted or Don Brown adjusted or what has come together more so now for the defense? Uh, really just, just us as a defense, you know, like taking the play by play, like I said earlier. Um, Penn State, we kind of got lackluster in the first half. We, we were trying to do a little bit too much, uh, you know, individually. But, um, yeah, like, as you saw the second half of Penn State, you know, we were locked down. You know, they couldn't get anything. Um, and just that play-by-play, play, you know, like brick by brick, as we said, um, you know, we we got to take one at a time, and we're going to come out with the win. All right, Rainer. Where do you think this team is right now versus, say, a month ago? Uh, we're taking leaps, you know, like, and I believe we, we've always had it. It was just, you know, like us clicking. And, uh, you know, like that second half of Penn State, I think we really found what, what our team can do and that we can do it whenever we want. Jordan Glasgow played as well as uh, as everybody thought he did, just watching the film. Yeah, man. Um, he's a dog, man. He's always around the ball. Um, you know, he, he helps me out there, you know, like since he's an older guy, you know, we, we talk, you know, before snaps, and he always helps me out. So, yeah, definitely. All right, Austin. And for you growing up kind of in proximity to this rivalry, what do you think it means to close it this way since you're not going to see them for now 14 years or whatever? I mean, you know, it's good. Uh, you know, like I love all those guys. You know, like I've, I've grown up knowing half of them. Um, but, yeah, you know, like once we're on the field, you know, we're enemies. But, you know, after the game, you know, I hug them, you know, to tell them I love them. So it's definitely good to get the win, but the win's a win, and we're on to the next one. That was your question. Anyone else got anything for Cam? What was Tom Brown's message to you guys after the game? After the game? Yeah. Uh, you know, he's just proud of us. Um, you know, like we, we played how, you know, that we can play. And, uh, but we still believe that our best football is ahead. All right. Thanks, Cam.